Hello and welcome to another edition of Little Port and East Cam's Academy News. Um, a chance to share many of the good things happening in the Academy over this last week and, and to celebrate the successes of our, of our students. Uh, first thing I'll talk about this week is a book fair. I'd like to say thank you to, um, to everybody involved in producing the, the book fair um, in, in the school. We've had an opportunity to have some new books come in. As you're aware, we, we've, we've opened the library this year. We've invested in heavily in a new set of, uh, a new set of books. So we have, we spent, I think, I believe £40,000 on, on refurbishing the library. So all the students have access to up-to-date books, but also we invested in Accelerated Reader. An Accelerated Reader is a programme where students, have, uh, they do an, an online test, they assess where their reading age is, they then get a, lit, a book which is appropriate to their reading age, they read in those and they progress all the way through. So they can actually, it's an appropriate reading book. So it's not too hard, not too easy. It's their appropriate level of challenge. So that's been monitored through. But part of that is reopening the library and having a great new librarian who can actually bring in all new resources, bring in um, authors, bring in activities. And I was walking past it today and there's a real buzz um, in the library with a number of students in there and looking at the books talking to other people and it's been a really well used centre so I'm absolutely delighted with how that's going. Um, children in need, we raised over £500. Um, if you haven't donated, you have until the 3rd of December to donate through the dedicated parent pay uh, and also there's a link on Facebook and it has been emailed out so it'd be great to give as much as we possibly can to such a, wor a worthy cause. It was a, a fantastic day, nicely students um, out of uniform, responding so well um, to, to the challenge, but it's about getting all that, you know, it, wearing the non-uniform doesn't come free. You've got to give, um, give the money to the students so we can actually uh, to, to pass it on to the children who are in dire need of our, of our support. Now onto the shout outs, like this is from Mrs. Bellaby, who's like given um, a, a praise to Elise for Inspired of the Week, for making an extra effort with a year 10 photography work and sharing her presentation ideas with others. Well done, Elise. This is from Miss Gonzalez. Thank you to Annabelle and Skye for running the Spanish club for two weeks in her, in her absence, and it's been so professionally done. We've got a couple of proper top-notch teachers in the making. Um, thank you to all the students working hard in her absence and as a, and with regards to students who have reached out to her and wish her a prompt recovery. Um, she misses you and she cannot wait she cannot be wait to be back. So that's lovely to hear. So from Miss Hunter, a big shout out to Zach, Tommy, Junior and Theo for all the hard work they put into their lessons this week. Super proud of them all. This is from Mr. Ribello, a big shout out to Seth in year seven and Darcy, George and Ruby in year eight for their hard work in Spanish um, this week. Um, from Miss Elliot, really proud of Oakley in health and social care for their motivation and completing coursework. That's from Miss Fromont in science. Well done to Jacob in year nine for being a superstar in science over the past few lessons. Um, in chemistry, the year 10 triple group for noticing links in science and having a go at some challenging science by thinking through the problem and using what they knew to figure it out. Now we have also from Mr. Story, a shout out to Reese in year seven who has produced a fantastic piece of work all about Oliver Cromwell Museum in Ely. And also big well done to all the ACC students who put in a fantastic effort with Miss Hayward this week making cardial diagrams. So that brings us to the shout outs and just one final announcement. Coming up soon, we will have Christmas lunch. So we had some great response from bookings for Christmas lunch at the end of term. We'd just like to reiterate this is a pre-book only. The students will be issued with a ticket. Another email has been sent, along, uh, sent home again. Today was a reminder uh, of the link. So looking forward to Christmas, we're ent entering the Christmas season and we are going to be saying it is, we're, we're now in a position where it is getting colder, it is getting darker. We need to make sure that students are, are safe to and from school, but also they will need to start bringing coats with them, especially at, when they're outside at break time and to and from school. So we need to make sure that they are, they are warm and dry when, when they arrive. So again, thank you everybody for such a, a tremendous week. Um, there's a real buzz around the academy and it's always nice to see the students so engaged in their learning. So thank you everybody, have a very pleasant week and I'll speak to you all again next week.